So, Silent Hill 2 remake came out by uh, Blooper Team. and Affectionately uh, being called the Blooper Make. Oh, that's weird. I like it. I, I like, you like it? I like Blooper Make. It sounds... Did we bloobin? That's fun. That's fun. It's a fun word. So, uh, last week I talked about how the goal is I'm going to try and be fair. Uh, because I had very low hopes. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh just a real bottom of the barrel and it came out and i grabbed a copy and one of the first questions i got when i was loading it up was had i gone through the re- the the you know silent hell 2 enhanced edition very recently to get myself like very fresh and so i would really know you know be able to compare all of it and i say no because um, I feel like that would set me up for like the most nitpicky possible, like miserable experience conceivable in which I would be hyper aware of it's different. Ah, and thus lead to me going, it's different and therefore it's bad mm-hmm. kind of thing. So I feel I should go off of like my uh, couple year old memories of playing it multiple times in a row. Now, the story so far, at least as far as discussions uh, with you on the podcast have, has been, um, is that the uh, the team making it made bad games, bad games prior to this. Like multiple bad games. And that the, uh, the, the initial look at the footage and some of the stuff people were looking at seemed like some, of the, bad. some of the character designs and such were changing in ways that... Uh, didn't reflect the reasons for the characters to look the way they did according to the original. Mm-hmm. And uh, overall, the feeling was that this was not going to be like a Resident Evil 2 style remake where it actively changes and improves a lot of the game while making um, it like, be, well, making it like what you remember, but better. Yeah. Um, um, so also every single piece of marketing or mm-hmm. information they put out mm-hmm. made it look really bad. Mm-hmm. And then we had that situation where like Konami put out this combat trailer and then the head of Bluebird was like, oh, that trailer's mm-hmm. made out of old footage. Doesn't look like that. We didn't cut that trailer. And then um, I caught word on the street of people getting their hands on it and were really impressed. So reviews started to come out and reviews were uh, extremely, extremely positive. Mm. And uh, there was a thread on the subreddit, and I went in there and I said, that's cool, and at the very least, it means that a lot of people who pick this up are going to be happy, but the only person's opinion that I'm going to really care about on this thing is mine, because I'm crazy. Uh, And then I later identified that, like, I would like to hear what Gene and Susie would have to say, because they're similarly crazy. Hmm. Um. But it gave me hope that at the very least, I would like walk in and be like, there's a good game here. It's just not good enough. Or there's an okay game in here. Okay. But it's, it's, it's missing it. It's missing the point. And then I started to play it. And before we go any further, um, every version of the game runs like shit. So right off the bat, let's just like every single version of the game runs like trash from launch till now. Um, yeah. So um, all the console versions have unstable frame rates in all modes. So like, if you play, if you play like graphics mode and it's supposed to be locked to thirty fps, thirty fps, it drops frames. If you play in performance mode and it's supposed to be sixty fps, it drops tons of frames. Um, when you play it on PC, the frame rate's actually super good, but it stutters and it stutters bad. Like it, like moving through like a hospital or the apartment area, mm-hmm. and you turn a corner and it goes Grr! like it. It is. Can it you, is one of the worst Unreal Engine five stutter things. Can you turn enough I've things encountered. off to like? I mitigate? found that if you turn stuff significantly down, have a strong PC, and turn off hardware... What's it called? Hardware? What's it? 
It's in display. It's a window setting. Acceleration? Oh. No, it's called uh, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. And turn that off. It Back very close much. Enough. <laughs> yeah, it very much um, like smooths it out. Okay. But you can't stream the game with hardware accelerated GPU scheduling off. OBS goes crazy. Um, so yeah, no, it definitely has some like very serious technical issues. I hope those are patched up. I hope those are improved because it is it's a it's a serious black eye on what is otherwise pretty excellent okay um so one of the issues of them showing off the cutscene direction with the the way they would show the trailers is that you would be watching their new cutscenes in a vacuum and you would then compare them to the original cutscenes which are famous, super famous at this point mm -hmm. for their super weird delivery. Um, and um, in its own context, the new direction for these cutscenes, there's a couple that miss a couple beats that seem like they really matter. But overall, they seem like much more realistic portrayals of the same weirdos. The dialogue, I believe, is like nearly um, exactly the one same. To one to Okay. Uh, there might be a, a addition here or subtraction there on specific scenes. Um, but it is, de you definitely get the same vibes that there's something wrong with Angela, that she's extraordinarily power, like paranoid. Mm -hmm. um, she's not reacting correctly to the situation around her. Uh, James is definitely suffering from a completely flat affect and a lack of care for his immediate surrounding, and he's still very weird. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a more naturalistic, like, actor's portrayal of that same material. Awesome. As a result, it is much less idiosyncratic. Like, the original's dialogue is crazy specific and unique because they had in some cases non-actors mm -hmm. or amateur actors playing these characters as themselves and, and, it was all, like and, and being ground. directed syllable by syllable right as guy he's um so it is definitely like it is, it is definitely like a more grounded portrayal of the same material i am always going to prefer the old super zany fucking weirdness but it's but it almost kind of feels like like the way film has gotten a little more serious right, right it's a flavor preference towards that weird old style as opposed to it no longer makes the scene work i would say it's to taste mm -hmm. um there are some changes here and there maria comes off as wildly more manipulative like intentionally manipulative than in the original where she seemed a little more innocent until the until the turn um there's some remixing of areas so there's a really good example and that you don't take the same path through the bowling alley to get to the strip club anymore okay um so the sequence of eddie how could you sit there and eat pizza is no longer there however the pizza is still there and you can't examine it and James will go, who the fuck could just sit here and eat pizza with all this stuff going around? Okay, so that weird, like, everybody meets up scene. It's still there. It's just in a slightly, slightly different location. Okay. So um, so overall, then, um, would you say that... Well, I feel like now that I've... So I'm coming at this the freshest eyes on the outside, and, yeah. you know, I have not seen... The Your new freshness. You haven't had decades to soak in nothing, this. nothing, and uh, you know I have like not even the bad ports or any of that stuff. Um, so the uh, the 
the the way that Silent Hill one starts out being weird with its cutscenes and story and dialogue and such carries over to two, and now you can feel yeah. Silent Hill like storytelling in mm-hmm. other things, right? It's missing here, but so far it's not weakening any of. No, the... no, it's still very strange. It's not just as loud. Okay. And do you think that makes it so that if you could pretend to be a new viewer who's ex- experiencing this all for the first time? Oh, I think it would come off very impressively. Okay, it's just it's a current it's very subdued, but it's it's a current but still like discomforting vibe. Yeah, um, they've added they've added some details to the characters in you know, so they'll have a cutscene that's like more or less exactly the same. But they will add something to it. And so far, a couple of those have really hit the mark. There is one detail. So when you talk to Eddie and he's barfing his shit out, Mm -hmm. right? That cut seems like 99% the same. Except for the fact that Eddie and only Eddie's breath is misting up in the cold. Ah, okay. Okay. In fact, Eddie's breath is always misting up in the cold in every scene you talk to him. Interesting. And no one else is. Okay. And it's like, okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Um, um, now, let me be Wooly. <laughs> all right, Wooly. Wooly it, at, Wooly it at me. Can you play footsies? So, to those of you who are not familiar with survival horror or maybe have played survival horror games in the past and have been worried about running out of ammunition. Let me tell you, my save game is currently inside the Nightmare Hospital. I am walking around with 220 handgun rounds. Wow. And 29 health drinks (laughs) and seven full heal syringes. Okay. And the reason for that is because you can play footsies. Okay. Um, the, The... The... um, stick and the pipe have been uh, put into I would say like homecoming light uh, combat in which you have your swings and you have a dodge mm-hmm. and your dodge is perfect and will cancel anything Um, so you have like basically you have a three hit combo and is it the, the ba- is it the can- back step the like the back step you can go in any direction. Okay. Okay. Uh, and the direction doesn't matter. Like you're totally invincible during it. Um, so you're smacking on the lying figure or the mannequins and they can dodge out of anything and, and try and counterattack you at which you have to also dodge them. Right. The nurses, the nurses have a delay combo. Okay. And, and a three hit combo. Okay. Cause, um, cause... And nurses can grab your pipe to stop you during so, mid combo. So, because RE2 Remake um, increased your, you know, mobility and such to be more mercenaries-like, the yeah. zombies had to be increased in their lethal lethality and their behavior, mm-hmm. you know, to, to match. Um, I don't know that... So, yeah, in this case, same thing. Behavior is now keeping up with the fact that you so, can do more. So, um, I can't speak to all the enemies because I haven't encountered all of them, but I can talk about the three most common, which are um, the lying figure, the uh, mannequin, and the nurse. So, lying uh, lying figures can sometimes, uh, when you go to stomp them out, can sometimes spray their goo all over as a death move and mm-hmm. damage you. The mannequins... Uh, run away from you and pin themselves to walls straight up and hide to sneak attack you. Um, they also have a command grab. Okay. Um, and the nurses have delay combos, multi-hit combos, and parries. Okay. Does the lean towards action, I guess, do anything? Does... You, you, oh, there's also scarabs, but they're bugs. You just stomp. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not actually so much a lean towards action um because you if you want to just delete an enemy just pull out your gun sure yeah okay and uh enemies do not take much damage uh they take like four bullets okay like it's they're they they go down um but i actually really like the melee combat 
and spent a lot of time doing it um like a lot like i i i spent all the way until the end of the normal hospital not firing my gun unless there was more than one enemy and now you're stocked the fuck up yeah and now i am now i am drowning drowning there is an achievement for beating the game without any um fired bullets without without firing a gun interesting okay so um yeah so re2 remake has been the vector of comparison for a lot of this but there's actually another one i'm thinking of uh, dead space just got remade as well so dead space got uh remade uh dead space is 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 way more strict it it so dead space is like it's not one to one but they didn't change any behaviors right it it was very close yeah okay It, it was very very close like there were huge proportions of uh of areas in dead space one that were just like like they mm-hmm. prettied them up uh there were some bad areas that they cleaned up a little bit in dead space one but yeah it was very strict so i bring it up so that we can create uh where's the scale a scale of dead space to re2 so it's really interesting when you saw the interview with bloober that uh they were like we wanted we wanted to keep it very very strict and the original devs that we spoke to wanted us to change it more. That's funny because they changed a lot, a lot. Um, this game is twice as big as the original. It's just scale. Yes. New rooms it, it, or it just is, it is. It, no, in in every way. It okay. Is, it okay. is twice as large. Okay. So. So I the first day that I streamed it, I streamed for eight hours. It took me like four and a half hours to get to the apartments. And then the apartments, you know how there's the the Woodside side of the apartments? Yeah. And then the Blue Creek apartments. You know how the Blue Creek apartments was like pretty short? Yeah, yeah. The couple, Blue two, Creek two, three, apartments fours. is longer than the Woodside apartments now. Uh. It is a massive three-story like nightmare section okay so this is also a modern game in length too as well yes yeah okay so um, so that interview it's interesting because you know from the outside perspective certainly where you're like oh they're they're they want that changed or such and you kind of would think why and i'm almost remembering when capcom was like hey it, um change dante and do as much change change dmc as much as you possibly can we don't want it to resemble the original at all right um so but, I have a lot to talk about that at the very end of my section. Okay, on Silent okay. Hill. Because I have, but I, I can tell people to pop their headphones or well, what have you. Well, I, I, I would say that, like, um, yeah, part of that that I'm, I'm sure will come up is that the original director spoke about his feelings about the remake. Yeah. You know, so yeah, but so we'll um, people are talking. I just saw someone just now go. Well, why didn't they remake one first? And the answer is because two is more popular. Um, but the second Pyramid answer it, is that um, they are not going to remake Silent Hill 1 because a lot of Silent Hill 1 is in this game. So you remember in the original Silent Hill 2, the primary aesthetic of Nightmare was grime and decay and drapes, right? Mm-hmm. Things were flooded and ruined. Things were old, etc. cetera. Um, normal areas have that going on a lot more often now, but when we get into proper nightmare areas in Silent Hill 2 Remake, we have full-on chain link, rusted, mm-hmm. night like proper Silent Hill 1 and 3 nightmare other world sections mm-hmm. that two really never had. Um, like just really piling it on with with the the grossness and the hell. Yeah, I guess I played them so close together. Well, in my brain, I'm thinking of the rusty chain metal, all that environment. So that's actually only one and three. That's only one and three. That's only Harry's world. Okay. Yeah, two is grime and drapes. Okay. Okay. Um, and they, they've integrated a lot of Silent Hill 1's, like, aesthetic into the expansion of existing areas. Okay. Um, 
Again, I think Pyramid Head is like reason enough for them to be like, "Now nah, we're making the one with the fucking you with know the what, guy. man. We're doing the one with the guy." <laughs> I, I <laughs> think know? Pyramid Head was like the thing that would have been maybe the easiest to fuck up by far. And the scene in which you meet Pyramid Head is a. It's the only scene that I've I've done so far that I'm like, this is a substantial improvement to the original scene. Um, hmm. If you remember hiding in the closet while he's trying to jam the mannequins down the yep. garbage disposal. Yep, yep, yep. And James shoots him and he goes, oh, oh, oh. And then hears a noise and wanders off. In the remake, when he stares at James through the closet door, James shoots him three, four times and the bullets bounce effortlessly off of PH's head and PH is stone still and doesn't move at all and then decides to leave okay okay it's not even and it makes him much scarier and much more imposing because he is he is legitimately completely invincible and they show that off a lot better okay well let's wait until you sneak grab the sword and then are able to do a guts style grunbeld overhead smash (laughs) we'll see um so yeah there there's a lot of there's a lot of remixes of existing puzzles like Neely's bar has a puzzle in regards to it's a whole there it was gone now. Um the coin puzzle from the apartments with the man and the snake and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh it's back, but it ha- it's a, a different context. And I actually I actually think the new coin puzzle is like one of the s- best things in the remake. It's really smart and it has a weird new solution that I didn't understand it the first time. Um and so far so good. Like that's that's like I've been titling my streams that because that's what everyone was coming in to ask. Like, dude, is it is it good? I'm like, so far, aside from the technical aspect, mm-hmm. so good. Um, the the overworld areas have been expanded and they're fun to explore. The nightmare sections are longer. Um, the game feels better to play. It is gorgeous. Uh, you're still doing a lot of the same puzzles, but they're under new context. So, like, there's still the hair and needle puzzle still with the drain still exists, okay. but the solution is different. Are Are you the first of the pantheon of super fans to break the silence? I I believe I might be. Okay, I'm not sure because you guys are sitting around a table <laughs> in um, space. There is. Uh, we have not been conferring. <laughs> okay. But just so I you still, know, I from the outside, the, we are looking. We are looking at the round the table <laughs> chat with with Susie and Jean. Yeah. Um, okay. And I'm not familiar, but apparently there's a guy named Voidberger or a lady named Voidberger who is 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 crazy about it. Uh, I'm not familiar, but I keep seeing their name pop up. Hey, what's up, Jean? <laughs> um, so that's it's it's great so far. They I I, I fully. Uh, they could drop the ball horribly, horribly at the end. That's totally a, a reasonable possibility. I know Gene's beat it and he's in the chat, so he could just literally say, did they horribly drop the ball at the end or not? Um, but so far, so good. Um, Full playable UFO dog ending sequence that goes on for 10 hours more. Well, that would be great, actually. <laughs> I love that. Um... There is now there's the part where um I think I know what Bloober team meant when they said that the original staff wanted to change more. Yes, okay. And they decided not to. And I think that they did just enough of what they wanted to change but have so far not gone what I would consider too far. So there are there is a new type of collectible in the game. And uh I will talk about the two first that you encounter and then I will leave it in case I don't want to spoil it for anybody that's not watching my stream. So, you remember where you fought the lying figure, you went into like an underground, like under underneath a par- overpass, and was like blocked off with wooden boards yep. and shit. Mm-hmm. And it was like a very specific thing. Mm-hmm. 
that's not where you fight the lying figure now. You fight the lying finger, figure in a different part of town in like an abandoned house, right? Okay. But you do, in fact, encounter that original location that is nearly identical. Like, I think even the boards are all in the same places. Um, are we currently dying? Or, we, like, what's... I'm seeing some stutter. Oh, no, we're good. So... Um, when you walk up to it, there's an interactable prompt on it. And when you click on it, it makes a Silent Hill 2 original sound effect and pushes you into a fixed camera angle, which is the only time in the entire game you get a fixed camera angle. Hmm. I then went to, uh, the, you know, the side street that you go down and there's like a truck on the left. Uh, like a white truck and then there's a save point on the right and then that's how you get to the little underpass that oh, directly you fight the line yep, figure on yep, yep. well the fence is now sealed up and it says um road closed due to accident and when you go up to it you click on it and it again makes a little jingle and gives you a different camera angle into pre into a uh, fixed pre uh, you know mm -hmm. fixed camera perspective um those things are all over. Oh. Those types of moments, wherever something has changed um, and is no longer the same way that it is in the remake, you almost invariably find the original version of that location or place as a little Easter egg where you can click on it and it'll go... Bloop. So if you so were like, trying to play this the way you remembered, you would encounter that barrier yeah. or that thing in your way, and then you would get that little special moment. So, for example, the coin puzzle is new, right? The the old man and the snake coin puzzle. It's a brand new puzzle, and it doesn't. Uh, it's not in the same place, right? But you can find the old coin puzzle smashed to bits. Ah, okay. In in the correct place. The trash compact, the, the throw the juice down the garbage chute um, the garbage puzzle chute. Yeah. is the same puzzle, but when you find the garbage chute on the outside of the building, it's actually been act it's been sealed off and can't be used, and it's a different garbage chute on the inside of the building. Um, and it is like a, a bunch of like really, really nice Easter eggs about, hey, it was this was the the old you remember do you remember that this was where it was in Silent Hill 2 um well it's this is different but it, hey it's still there um there are a lot of those all over the place about pieces of the old game that are still physically present in the new game mm -hmm. and um, I wore an, an Evangelion shirt on my first stream under the suspicion that they may be doing the thing. Well, now, hold on. <laughs> did, any, did any time ghosts try to push you out of the way? No. Okay. And in fact, they have, it seems that they are not going to do that. Well, but there is def there is enough there that if you want to interpret it that way, you mm. can. Okay, so instead of full rebuild theory, what if it's simply some nostalgic moments that when you collect them all lead to like a fun little bonus thing? Uh, no, it's they're just a collectible. Okay, there, there's no um, there's no reward. Yeah. Okay. Um. There is a line of dialogue that does actually support what I'm talking about. That is like, oh, okay. But um, I don't think the story is actually going to acknowledge it. I think it's going to live in Easter egg world. Um, which I think it would be terrible if they had made that a core plot of the game. Uh, I'd say so. <laughs> um, I, I I mean. I, I don't know which one of these fucking endings you want to throw that concept into, but I think I hate all of them. <laughs> yeah. You know, so, yeah, no. Um, um, it's 
it's funny because it's not fair because ff7 like got there first mm-hmm. well <laughs> ava it's, and then you know. no but you know in video games sure yeah right if this was new and it was the only one that had tried it people would probably be more open to it um but uh i don't think that i don't think they're gonna fully go for it i think they're just gonna open it up for super fans to argue about and try and you know have fun with i would also argue that the rebuild concept is not novel anymore right Um, that's kind of the problem yeah you you uh, i mean it's not that it can't be done well anything can be done well but it certainly is not going to have the like that holy shit impact of like the first time we encountered this stuff and i would even say like the first time i remember when it was just even like a vague little distant thing was um uh the star trek movies where i was like oh that's clever you know but it's a little thing you can ignore it but it's there and it's a clever little little bit but yeah all of this i think I would hope if anyone wanted to like take a crack at the the you know a, a rebuild concept that you would have to do something really different from all the stuff the media we just mentioned, you know. I think the problem is that the rebuild concept kind of ran its course by the end of the rebuild films. Because I definitely uh, despite the fact that that was so. one movie series, mm-hmm. it, it took like 10 years. Mm-hmm. Um, and Um, and again, even when you don't find it a surprise, you can still do things that are interesting. Like, I mean, I I, I talked about Scott Pilgrim takes off, right? Like there's, there's ways to go about it, but, um, it just is now a thing that we go, oh, that's a new way that remix remakes can exist. And you don't kind of have that much of a special feeling as you Mm. did the first time you kind of encountered these things yeah it seems that i've encountered probably as blunt as it's going to be um but uh i'm digging it as long as it stays over here Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and doesn't take the focus away Mm -hmm. now the most important thing in the game will not be heard until the ending is reached. So that's right. This overall impression is not complete until we hear the letter. Mm-hmm. You know? Oh yeah. But I hear uh, I, I I seriously doubt the the anyone could ever top or mm-hmm. match the original reading. Mm-hmm. But I do hear um, that like James's barks and screams and noises gutturally He sounds like shit. Are like pretty good. good so far. He sounds like shit Bar- brackets complimentary yeah yeah um i hear that he, he sounds his great. voice cracks on some of his attack yells awesome that's great like so in the old games they would say well your character isn't really a cool guy or an action man so we're gonna make the control like shit um and instead what they've done here is that he controls like a video game character and like you can play him normally mm-hmm. but like he sounds wretched and his animations are wild and he is like he it sounds like he is barely managing through yeah actually i did hear a you know kind of like yeah exert kind of sound like when he when he is like stomping on an enemy to take them out he is like screaming good 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 cool. like okay um it's very intense um and yeah so far so good the only the only type of opinion that i'm i'm currently looking for because i need somebody who's beaten it and isn't listening to this conversation which is if you are totally ignorant and you played this game without social media are some of the new additions in the background too on the nose? Hmm. I can't tell. I don't think so, but I can't tell. Yeah. Um, on the nose. I know is, too much. On the nose is fucking risky, man. I, I always tell the story about uh, my friend watching Old Boy in English and hating it because the English just puts it too on the nose mm-hmm. and, and lets you get there way sooner um it's important to make sure you don't go too fast you know so a really good example a really good example that of people who don't understand what i'm talking about like genuinely don't understand the point that i just made is 
and why I limit this to people who don't know already is that the pause screen has something going on in it in Silent Hill 2. Hmm. However, it is impossible, impossible to intuit the Easter egg going on with the pause screen unless you have beaten the game already. Absolutely, completely impossible. You would never be able to figure it out. Hmm. And so when someone goes, well, the pause screen's too on the nose, it's like, but, you, but that's because you already know. that You know what you're like, looking for. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Cool. Well, that's great. Um, uh, it is. It's kind of great. I, um, I really, really hope they patch this to run better. It is, it is. So it kind of running like shit was like a hilarious piece of trivia when this game was a pile of shit that sucked and who cared and we're all just going to get through it and laugh about it. Um, but now that it's like, oh shit, they're actually like really cooking here. And like, this is kind of great. Um, it's actually now a massive, massive bummer that it runs bad. Like, t like it's a massive fucking bummer. Hmm. Um, but this represents, this represents, yeah, the first chance for people to like, learn about and actually experience this series in yeah. years mm -hmm. um one last thing to talk about so everybody has different things that bother them mm -hmm. everybody has uh parts of the world that are intolerable mm -hmm. to their psyche and we're talking about Silent Hill, a horror game. But I've played 100 horror games. I played 200. I probably played 1,000. Um, there are two health items in Silent Hill 2 Remake. In the original, it was health drink, it was medical kit, and then ampoule. Um, now, there's only two. Health drink for, like, one heal, and then syringe for full heal. I've heard. So I've used stim packs in other games. I've you I did the eye sequence in Dead Space 2 and whatever. Silent Hill 2 remake gives you the syringe health item and James pulls it out of an old med kit and it is actively filthy mm -hmm. it is covered in grime from plunger to tip it's rusted mm -hmm. and the labeling is worn down and it is filled with brown mystery liquid mm -hmm. it is every single thing that activates my my fight or flight yep. in terms of being stabbed with a syringe yeah and I had to take a little deep set of deep breaths just when I saw it. Mm -hmm. um, then when I uh, when you when you take enough damage, you, the red vignette actually gets deep enough that you see there's a, 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 a like a health plus sign in the corner. And that shows you that you're about to die. OK, um, you hold down the triangle button to use the syringe. And James just just yanks it and just plunges it straight through his jacket and his shirt mm -hmm. like without like spot and um i like i saw you saw it I you saw. said that so it's that that it's that like it's coming up yep. burp where your body is deciding to expel non-existent poison so something that's really important here is that um I think that something that elicits a really uncomfortable feeling in a game that's about feeling uncomfortable can be seen as an added Absolutely. Bonus. However, yeah. there is a threshold this... where that's not a pleasurable thing. That's actively 
making it hard to go through. It is it is like so like I most people don't react to dirty syringes the way I do. Mm -hmm. Nobody likes a dirty syringe, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh this is like pushing it to the limit. Yeah. This is this is like the worst thing I have ever seen yeah. about this. It literally in any media ever people were like talking about this on the subreddit and posting like that scene from saw uh, the needles in saw are clean yeah um the, I, like no the, that's horrible so the moment i saw the way you reacted to that i could tell immediately that i'm like oh a lot of the audience is not going to understand that this is actually going past the threshold of enjoyable I think a lot Way of people are past. going to think that it's like, oh, wow, it's gross because, yeah, it is supposed to be gross. But it's like there's a there's a there's a line that you. Yeah. So I can yeah, tell it's, that it's way over. It's way mm -hmm. over. I get it. Um, But it's a really powerful health item. So I don't know if you saw this. I've discovered a solution. No. The solution is, is when I have to use a full heel syringe, I, I grab the controller and I run a little bit away and then I hold it with my right hand and hold triangle to do the heel and literally put my hand over my eyes mm -hmm. until I hear the plunge sound effect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm in battle when I'm in fights yeah. when this is happening. Um, and, uh, that I, li I have to do it. I will barf on my fucking keyboard mm -hmm. if I, if I watch that. Yeah, I, no, it's, again, there's, it's not something that I think over the course of our career comes up often, but it's just like, sometimes there's no bit, quite frankly. There's, sometimes there's just no bit. I get it. Um, and I think that some people don't get that. And I think some people that perhaps don't have anything in their life that is like that can't relate to what that's like. Oh, I like. can already see a couple people in this chat right now. But, go, oh, what a pussy. Yeah, but I don't, like, you don't, I don't you wish don't that. I don't wish that the, upon you because you if don't you did know encounter. You don't of a triviality going mm -hmm. past your psyche into your stomach. I, you like, I, I don't wish that upon you. And if you're lucky enough to live a life where you don't encounter or experience that in any way, shape, or form, that's great. But if you if do, we can get understand... an arachnophobia mod for Skyrim, can we get a medkit mod for the PC version of Silent Hill 2 remake? Probably. Probably. I mean, shit. In, in, um, in the, um, what's that game called? Uh, for the company. Um, anyway, whatever. In that Divers? No, no, no. The game where you um, you help each other for the company or whatever. Anyway, there's a yeah, an arachnophobia. Oh, a lethal company. Lethal company. You yeah. There's a thing that turns all giant spiders into the word spider. <laughs> oh, that's great. And it's you uh, know. Um, um, satisfactory. Uh, in satisfactory, uh, if you turn on arachnophobia mode, they turn the spiders into literal JPEGs of a guy's cat. Okay. Right, right, right. Uh, which is also kind of weird by itself because it's a bunch of like cat JPEGs coming at you. Yeah, it's still strange. Yeah. Um, um, and and like I want to be super clear here because like yeah, no, it's not needles. Mm -hmm. It's filthy mystery needles. That is is the is the I don't think the, the big nightmare. But I don't think even further definition matters there most importantly especially to people that are like whatever i don't get it it's all bit is that it's involuntary yeah it's involuntary you don't have control over that it's and just like, I what i blame it is. martin short for this this is martin short's fault because of inner space okay haven't seen where so. he got st martin short is just going about his life and a scientist just stabs him in the ass on an escalator with a mystery syringe. And I saw that when I was a kid. And then, then I then I I was I was taken with the realization that anyone around me could stab me with a syringe and I wouldn't be able to stop them. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> There's always a catalyst thought, I suppose, or moment. Yeah. All right. Like um, I could be walking down the street, like with the baby in the stroller, and a and a and a guy could run out of his house and just stab me with a syringe before I knew it was happening. Mm -hmm. I think about that shit 
all I the mean, time. And with other I things or nothing. You're like, you get, you get shot all or whatever. The time. But like, yeah, that thing. Um, so uh, it's it's a choice that you can you can almost like step back and objectively see how it's like ooh that would be good for making people feel freaked out by that I that concept but in this case just the most on the nose it could possibly be to yeah. the point where maybe someone at Bloober was listening to a stream or two. <laughs> oh, I, I, you know? <laughs> the idea that that is actually there specifically no, no, to no. make me barf is really it's flattering. If that showed up in a David Cage game, I'd think twice. Mm, David Cage doesn't know about us. Oh, I don't know, man. If I, I bet you, if I walk into Quantic Dream Montreal, I, I feel like something might happen. <laughs> Get this motherfucker! Out I of here. think something might happen. Um, okay, so I actually have a a, a, a question. Um, Ask away. Would you say so far that if this level of fidelity and change and you know everything else you've seen? was carried over to Konami's other recent uh, efforts, Metal Gear Delta. Mm -hmm. That would be sufficient and good? Uh, yeah, but um, it's not. And you can already tell that it's not because um, I watched the recent MGS Delta trailer and I was like, what is going on with these animations? I can't figure out what the fuck is going on. And um, Delta is is like the same game with like new graphics like stapled on to the existing game. Ah. Uh, um, okay. Delta is either exactly what you want or completely pointless depending on your perspective. I thought it was going to be a remake of 3 in the 5 engine. You know? Um it is but they're taking the game and then they're putting it into the five engine and throwing new models onto it okay like it, it is like like you see the cutscenes and like they they are actually like being model flipped and using the same voice files which now because it's outside of its context it looks a little weird because uh, the animations are a little old the, the animations are older than the models that they're inhabiting so they, they it looks a little so it's, off. So it's using the animation data of the original game in and the, the Fox acting, in yeah. the Fox engine. Uh, it's it's Unreal apparently. Okay, okay. Um, man, I hope they fix that stutter in Silent Hill. Uh, but so my opinion of Bloober Team has obviously improved. Uh, I did not know that Bloober made Observer. Observer is pretty good. Um, I think all the I think Observer is the only good game they've made before this. I think the Layers of Fear games are bad, and the medium is terrible. Um, and they have uh, been upgraded to. They can really do something good. As long as somebody else designs the whole game for them, and they face. follow a guideline. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the willing... they're really, really good at coloring in the lines. So um, let me just accent what you were saying about the original team's willingness to see uh, uh, changes with um, a part of the news here, which was uh, Masashi Subayama, the director of Silent Hill 2, had a, a thread on Twitter where he talks about what he thinks of the remake. Um, and... He mentions, games and technology are constantly evolving, resulting in significant differences in constraints and levels of expression. This is a common issue with media arts in general, but it's not easy to maintain and appreciate the environment of the time. I think the value of the remake is that a new generation can play it. As a creator, I'm very happy about it. It's been 23 years. Even if you don't know the original, you can just enjoy the remake as it is. Whether it's good or bad doesn't affect the original. The differences between the original and the remake, like 4K, photorealism, the bonus headgear, etc., are all mediocre. Who is this promotion going to appeal to? It seems like they're not doing enough to convey the appeal of the work with, to the generation that doesn't know Silent Hill. Mm -hmm. um, the thing... Th yeah, they're, 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 they are coasting on the old game's reputation. The thing to note is the change in camera perspective. The change in playable camera has a significant impact on many aspects, combat level design, art creation, etc. While the impact of the story may relatively be small, uh, may be relatively small, it brings change to the play feel of the game. 
to be honest, I'm not satisfied with the playable camera from 23 years ago. Depth mm -hmm. and angle were limited by the processing load. It was a contentious process of hard work that was not rewarded, but that was the limit. Uh, the over-the-shoulder view definitely adds to the sense of realism. In other words, it makes me want to try playing the even more immersive remake of Silent Hill 2. So, uh, even there, I mean, aside from the, like, I wish I never fucking designed Pyramid Head <laughs> yeah. bit of history, uh, the director here was kind of like, yeah, you know, the camera itself was a limitation that he... Yeah, of course it was. It was know. 2001. Mm -hmm. So... I can I can see that like if there's parts of th if there's things where they kind of went like yeah I wasn't too satisfied with this then the idea of like remaking it especially for a new audience a bit later there'd be a willingness to be like nah man go ahead do something else you know improve on that if possible like I I, I, I think that the original is always going to be vitally important as um, particularly for its time. But as long as this game continues at the level of quality that I have been experiencing and they fix its performance a little bit, it will likely be the case that when someone asks, hey, I would like to get into Silent Hill, should I track down a PS2 and da da da, da or figure out how to use the, the abandonware version of the PC game or just buy this new one on my console? the the easiest answer is now completely viable well and and in this we can i mean something that should be always the case is the original should always be made available once a remake drops of anything so this is actually really a weird thing because it is <laughs> you could if you so desired go how to play silent hill 2 and figure it out from there it would not be hard but that's not the same no officially there should be a thing that comes out with the thing that's like yeah. and here you go right um yeah uh, uh uh just just anyone that you want to appeal to or for any reason for whatever the case is go hand in hand with a nice port of something to at least be like mm -hmm. and then there's this and this is now also immune to time yeah fucking syndicate anyway mm -hmm. the old the old oh, the old bullfrog is, game is that gone <laughs> Uh no, but like um the 2012 thing like it wasn't there like when they when they re-released it there was like um there was like a pack in that was like I feel, what was what was it? I feel, I feel like I thought there was like a pack in with the um the new one that was like you that you that was a, 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 of the old game or something but you couldn't get it outside of that otherwise or mm -hmm. yeah anyway um, I don't uh, I don't remember uh, but yeah, please, uh, Bloober Team, hit hit us up with some optimizations, cause well, come on, or somebody smarter than them get special K on the case <laughs> or what have you, cause it's really bad. The stuttering is like literally every minute. Oh, that that was Alice. Okay, okay, right. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, shit. This is gonna come back up in the current news, uh, cause there's some other shit that that uh, involved in this. We're gonna get into. Um, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, so far, so good on the Silent Hill 2 remake. I am very happy to be wrong. It feels good. And I would like to point out that there are weirdos trying to like edit the fucking Wikipedia to, they had to remove lock it review down. scores. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you guys are just mad that you were mistaken. I saw someone in my chat um, yesterday said, um, dude, this sucks. I Like, they were very blunt, and they are like, I wanted it to be terrible so I could be mad uh -huh. and enjoy being mad about it. Um, and they're brave to say that. Most people would not have the courage to admit that they would rather something be awful so they could just enjoy being pissed off 
Um, but they're also kind of wrong because the real enjoyment is not being mad about it. The real enjoyment is like, I saw, I saw it. I knew I could tell, I could tell right away. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm so smart. I saw what you guys didn't know how bad it was going to be, but I knew, mm -hmm. I knew it was going to suck. Oh, trust that this podcast would get months, if not years of content <laughs> out of this game being an absolute train wreck. Oh my God, tons. Instead, what do I say? We're going to talk about it today and then we're going to talk about it next week. And then every time it comes up, I'll go, yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and guess what? On, yeah, you're that's honest. So that's what and it that's is. that's better for everybody. Yeah. Hey, uh, I want to respond to uh, I want to respond to a shit post that's actually way funnier than the uh, author knows uh, in the chat. Someone says Silent Hill 2 remake is woke. They deleted the Comic Sans poster of the Silent Hill Ranch. So first of all, that's hilarious. Second of all, actually, they didn't. The Comic Sans Silent Hill Ranch sign can be found within the ranch barn if you know clip through the wall. It's there. <laughs> it's still there. Which is really funny. Uh, well, hey, I'll say this. Um, you can still direct as much ire as you need to towards um, the short message. I sure can. <laughs> That's so that's and there's two and there's two more there's two Silent more, Hill projects right. on the way. So now it's one and one, right? The scores Dude, the scores one one now. Yeah, I think Silent Hill has like the most coin flip quality of anything ever. Like there are there are very few games in that series that are fine. They're either like pretty good to excellent or they're pretty bad to horrible. No in between. Let's see how these, the rest of this uh, compilation of FF7, <laughs> yeah. let's see how the rest of this all shakes out. I am so town. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it for me this week. Um, you can check out me over at twitch.tv slash at. This week I'm going to be playing more Silent Hill 2 um and i gotta i gotta switch some of my schedule days around because i was supposed to play a very long stream last night and then encountered a very cataclysmic technical technical error that actually didn't have anything to do with silent hill um but on uh on friday maybe thursday it's metaphor refantasio oh my god the best game that will ever come out thank you atlas for all of your friendship Make sure everybody knows. Did you know it's out October 11th on the Xbox? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>